When we watch our favorite streamers, we always wonder how do they play their fights out so well? How can they always rotate to the right place and know what to do in every situation? It's actually very simple. There are two concepts you have to understand. These concepts may seem abstract, but I'll talk about how to apply them to your game as I explain. Once you apply these two concepts, then you'll see rapid improvement. First is understanding how your mind thinks. There are two types of thinking being done at any given moment to make in-game decisions, System 1 and System 2. System 1 is automatic, intuitive, unconscious, basically your autopilot. And System 2 is deliberate, conscious, and thoughtful. Let me demonstrate with simpler games. When someone shows up on your screen, it's easy for you to just click left mouse. This is all in your muscle memory. But when it comes to approaching an enemy, you'll be using System 2 to figure out how to gain advantage for the fight. Now when it comes to Tarkov, the game itself can be quite slow and methodical. So you would think most of the time, the best players in the game are always playing through System 2. Because that's the most optimal way to play Tarkov. And they're so good, their System 2 thinking is really fast. But that just isn't true. You see, System 2 is always slow, because being cognizant of everything all the time isn't easy. Which is why some of you may find Tarkov very stressful compared to other games. There's just so much information you have to deliberately think about, seemingly everything. And this burden of thinking is what's called decision fatigue. When you enter a checkout lane at the grocery store, why do you think snacks are placed near checkout? There's a finite amount of thinking you can do in one day before your brain gets tired. And each decision can be put into a queue called the mental stack. Your average full-time 9 to 5 -er will be doing the grocery shopping at the end of the day. By the time they're entering the grocery store, their brain is already drained. Something as simple as choosing what brand of cereal to buy can drain your mental stack even further. So when you make it to your checkout lane, you're more susceptible to impulse buying based on temptation because you no longer have the capacity to think. So how does someone like Landmark play 9 to 12 hours a day and still have the mental capacity to make all these quick plays? Is he just a genius with a massive mental stack? No, he isn't. System 1 is a way of thinking that requires no mental stack and does not affect decision fatigue. The majority of things Landmark does is from his System 1 because he's been playing for so long, and he's encountered so many of these situations he knows exactly what to do in any given moment. While if you're a newer player, you may not even know the controls. Tarkov is notoriously frustrating because there's no tutorial. To learn the controls, you have to scroll through the menu and memorize everything. So when a niche situation occurs, let's say your gun jams, you have to think back to what key it was to inspect your weapon. If you get tagged up, you have to think about prioritizing your heavy bleeds. But if you have more than one bleed, situationally, you may have to prioritize your thorax so you don't die from your other bleeds. If you have a blacked limb, you'll have to fix your bleed first before you stitch or you'll lose your 1hp limb after stitching. If you don't recognize where you are on the map, you have to alt tab and pull up a map. Then look at your surroundings to guesstimate where you are. Unlike other games where there's a mini-map or you can just pull up a map and the game tells you exactly where you are, Tarkov increases load to your mental stack by not giving you this information. As a newer player that doesn't know the loot pool, you're also going to be trying to figure out what loot to keep because you don't know the approximate value of items yet. All of these things add together causing a huge mental stack therefore giving you decision fatigue. All the while an experienced player isn't hindered by any of these things because they're all in our system 1. So when you meet an experienced player in a fight, who's more likely to win? So how do we become Landmark? Do we just have to play thousands of hours like he does? Kind of, yes. We do have to grind, but we don't have to play that much. As long as you know what to prioritize to efficiently move all of these things that's hindering your decisions in System 2 into your System 1. It's essentially just a bunch of checkboxes you can tick off. Starting with beginners. Going down the list quite quickly. Forget prioritizing loot value, the most important thing in Tarkov is survival. Even if you have a bag full of dog shit, it's still a net positive if you survive. For controls, rebind your keys to what you think will be comfortable. When rebinding, you make a conscious decision on what a certain key is. This helps you remember, rather than forcing memorization. Of course, I'm not telling you to turn your WASD into IJKL. Just rebind the ones you think are useful, but you constantly forget. When it comes to map and healing, Play your scav to learn the maps. This way, you don't have to spend your focus on what quests you have and how to path there. All you need to know is where you are and how to get to extract while hitting some loot spots along the way. And for healing, play some offline factory raid against max difficulty bots. This will both help you get used to your controls and how to heal when you get tagged up. Moving on to intermediate players. This is when you have most of the things in a beginner section ingrained into your system 1. Imagine yourself in a raid and start making a list of what you think about, starting when you first spawn into your raid. For example, 
The moment I load in the raid, I think about why I'm here. If I'm questing, then where are my quests and how do I get there? And what spawns are around me? If you don't need a wiki for your quest, because you know exactly where your quest location is and how to finish it, then that's a checkbox checked off of your mental stack. How well do you know the map? The moment you spawn, if you beeline to your objective, whether it's quest or loot, what spawn has line of sight to you, and what spawn can cut you off? Answering these two questions, you have to figure out what the best pathing is to avoid them, or the best spot to be in an advantageous position to win the fight. And while you're fighting, do you know your controls well? Do you have the muscle memory to execute your advanced movement without consciously thinking about it? Once you have all of these things down, you're an advanced player. The only thing you need to focus on now is how to fight and win. Learn to juggle between your System 2 and System 1. Everything about the game should be pretty much System 1 until there's an action in Raid that triggers a reaction. Then should your System 2 activate. For example, as bad as the audio system is, you need to intuitively know where your sound cues approximately come from. Maybe I maybe I was just seeing the flashlight of yours. Shots? Yeah. yeah. Did anyone just shoot? Nope. No. That sounded like there's, a, there's like a five, 5 for 5 AK towards admin, I think. The moment we hear this gunfire, it's an action that triggers our squad's reaction, and the strategy is immediately formed. If you're solo, you can execute the strategy right away, and if you're squad, you can communicate your future reaction. We can run through them. glass, or we can go admin. You guys. Uh, I'm just gonna run through glass, I don't care. Same for me. My favorite. Yeah, I'm, I'm fucking... Or did you break the glass? Thing. Yeah, I just did, I just did. Oh. Admin. Yeah, admin below. Oh no. I get shot up here and I heal without thinking. My healing here is autopilot, so I have enough mental energy to think about where my enemy could be. Like healing right now? Fuck. I have a left side, I'm gonna switch. No, admin computers. I saw him. I check our opponent's approximate location and I see a visual cue. I calm that the guy could have rotated while my teammate hears someone drop bag below. We prioritize the guy below. Really? Okay. You could have rotated though, I can't peek right now. Alright. Like you drop your backpack just now? No. Nope. Okay, someone's below us as well. Here? Yeah. I'm I'm first floor right now though. In, in east? Okay, that's you then. No, you... I'm on I'm still on the old side, first side. Uh, are you on wood? I dropped mine back now. Nope. Okay, yeah, so there's definitely a guy below us. He's in like the utility closet. So on your side? Yeah. I'm still on first time, so... Yeah. I'm just You're in west. In. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah, one in admin, west. one in, uh, one in east. Gotcha. Yeah, I'm on the leg first, but... I can push admin, though. Be careful. Can't help you yet. Alright, I'll wait a little bit and you can push admin together. Yeah. While my teammate is clearing one angle, intuitively I'm well-spaced and I'm holding something that's a threat for him. Yeah. I killed the guy in bathroom. He's huh? kind of dead. So we just have the, the admin guy left. Admin guy I'm left. holding you till in yeah. case it's a second. Okay, yeah. That guy fucked me up. We clear out admin after this kill. And the guy that gave me a massage earlier is assumed to be the same guy and he rotated over. If the action of playing the game can be done on system 1, then you'll have the mental capacity to play as fast as your favorite streamer. Because you can solely focus on your macro game, while your system 1 essentially does all the basics for you. However, you have to learn to juggle the two systems well. Here's a good example of a bad system one taking over, also known as bad habits. Go to your spot. M4? Okay, yeah. Down first. I'm pushing first. I dropped hole. I'm dead. Critic. He has an Xville M4. First floor. Now here, I know my friend got executed below me, and the guy is most likely on the left. However, to be safe, my system two took over, so I slowed down my play and checked my right. I'm dropping hole too. My other teammates said they're down the hole, which is to my right. Now I know my right is clear, so I let my system one take over the fight. Yeah. That's two stairs, yeah. I'll go down the other stairs. Advanced movement jiggle here. This is done quickly and automatically, which allowed what may have been a headshot to tag my leg. Now here, right after killing my first target, I should have thought about the fight and planned a 180 sprint back up the staircase after my first kill. But my CSGO bad habits took over, and I tried to spray transfer the second guy, which is pretty much impossible from this position and this game. Kill them? What the hell? One more. Close. My close left. I tried to spray transfer him and I'm whiffed. Go to your spot. 
Down four. Okay, yeah. Down first. I'm pushing first. I dropped hole. I'm dead. Critic. He has an X fill. M4. First floor. First floor. Got. I'm dropping hole too. Yeah. Let's see in stairs. Yeah. I'll go down the other stairs. Kill them. What the hell? One more. Close. My close left. I tried to spray for a minute. The road to improvement is long, and reaching all the way to advance may seem overwhelming right now, but this doesn't have to be your end goal. Just work on what you can and have fun playing the game. Not everyone has to be landmarked to enjoy Tarkov. I hope this video helped. If you noticed, I didn't talk about aim in this video because I have something planned for the future. Be sure to sub with bell if you want to be notified for that one. Like the video if you liked it, my socials are here as usual, thanks for watching.